While in life you can always take shortcuts, with Procreate you can. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite Procreate hacks that will help you and save you a lot of time. Let's get started. You probably know that using two fingers to undo and three fingers to redo. What you probably didn't know is that by double tapping and holding with two fingers or with three fingers, you can do it fast. You can speed up the whole process. And if you want to redo every step, just three fingers, double tap and hold. Hiding a lot of layers to just show one individual layer can take a lot of time. Did you know that you can actually just tap on the visibility checkbox and hold to showcase one individual layer? Want to duplicate a lot of layers? Instead of grouping them in a box and then duplicating it or duplicating one by one, you can simply select them all and tap hold, drag them on your canvas again and see how they will multiply in your project. Want to move different layers into a different canvas? Instead of copying them one by one, you can simply select the layers you want to move, hold, move them out with the other hand, tap on gallery, go to the other canvas and drop. See, now you got all your new layers in a separate project. Using three fingers, swiping down, you can access the quick menu. You get a lot of options right from the bat, but did you know that by holding down one of those buttons, you can actually customize your quick menu to your likings. One that I always love to have at hand is the cut button and the paste button. So whenever I want to just take something away from a layer, I can just do that. For example, if I want to have every single word on an individual layer, I can simply use this trick by selecting this layer. I can use a quick menu, tap cut, and then use a quick menu again and tap paste. This saves me a ton of time. Changing the layer opacity is pretty straightforward. Tapping on the end and then changing the opacity. But this is a little bit too close to me, so you can double tap as well on the layer and then go up and down and select the perfect opacity for your layer. To go back and forth between different colors, simply tap and hold the color circle and see how it will switch back to the color you previously used. Having a hard time figuring out where the white color actually is in this color circle, simply double tap in the white area and it will automatically jump to white. And here's a little bonus tip. If you want to have more precision when selecting a color, simply pinch and zoom and get the closest colors. When you're using the transform tool, but you're zoomed in in your canvas, it can be quite messy to zoom in and out. So simply hold down the transform tool cursor and then zoom in in the canvas to be able to place your object right. Procreate will always remember which tool you're using for brushes and erasers separately. But if you want to use the same eraser as you were using as a brush, then the easiest way, instead of going back through your library and your hundreds of different brushes, simply hold down on the eraser tool till you get the notification that it has switched to the current brush. Quick shapes are awesome. You can draw any shape or line and hold down until it snaps to a beautiful circle, square, curved or straight line. Procreate would automatically recognize what type of shape you're using and you can still move it around as you go. If you want to edit your shape, just tap on the edit shape in the notification bar and use the transform nodes to move around and adjust the shape till it's perfect. Instead of filling out the whole shape with the brush, you can simply use the color circle, drag it into your shape and let it fill out. Did you watch my last video where I shared my five favorite brushes? If you haven't, you can check it out here because you can also get four of those brushes for free. Here's how you can import multiple brushes with ease. Simply open the files folder, tap select, select all, and then hold down and then drag them into Procreate this is a little bit confusing since it won't open the location where it has saved those brushes. So you just have to trust them that when you open the brush panel, you'll see all your brushes right there. Another hack I use all the time is changing the color of a layer. For that, I actually tap on the layer, click alpha lock, select the color that I want to choose, and then tap back again and click fill layer. This way, I don't actually have to fill out the layer or change the color. Another one is also, since I work a lot with black and white, I can also just tap on invert 
the color layer to change the color to white. And that way I can create awesome layers. Finally, once you're done with your piece, use four fingers, tap on the screen, let it go into full screen and sit back, relax and enjoy what you've just created. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which of these tips you find the most useful and is your favorite. My favorite actually is the one that I found by accident by researching for this video was to actually drop layers from one project to another. Do you know someone who loves Procreate? Well, share this video with a friend who can benefit from these tips. I really appreciate everyone who's sharing this. And if you wanna support this channel and join our awesome community of legends, check out my Patreon link below where you can already help sponsor one of these videos with just $1 per month. And if you wanna see a preview of my next video, check this out. If you don't want to miss this video or the chance to be part of my live drawing sessions, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you do not miss what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.